and we're going to switch it up today a little bit because I had a great experience with a mortgage loan officer today. So if you want to succeed as a mortgage loan officer, what do you need to do? How much money can you make in this industry literally talking to people and sending emails back and forth and submitting documents? It's insane. If you're a hard worker and you're reaching out to realtors, if you're cold calling realtors, someone cold called me, they linked up with me on LinkedIn, they didn't even do it. They had their assistant link up with my assistant and schedule a call with me today at three o'clock. Now, why is this important? This is important because Number one, you don't need to reach out to realtors. You can hire an assistant to reach out to realtors on different platforms, especially LinkedIn. You should be linking in with realtors, not just in your area. This uh, mortgage loan officer is in Novato and I'm in Sacramento. And uh, yeah, I wanna link up with her because she says, what if I got you a buyer and you don't have to see the property and you don't have to meet the buyers and you have to submit an offer. Hell to the fuck yes. Talk about making decisions, yes. Yes, I will submit an offer on your Novato property for you and represent your clients that I've never met before. And yes, I will drive out there to do the home inspection, to do the appraisal, to do everything. And this is what it is. She didn't do the work to meet me or schedule me. I didn't do the work to schedule with her. We ha both hired assistants and we linked up. The best part about this is she will always remember me because in Novato, she lives on Atherton Street, which is my last name. Praise God, Jesus, Allah, universe, anything you believe in. I can't make it up. And I said, I'll go out there. I'll do anything. Like I'll drive. I don't care. Money is money. And I'm here to serve the community. And I'm here to dominate California. So if you're thinking about getting your real estate license, you need to have your list of realtors that you call every week and setting up these calls and appointments and creating relationships. I even asked her, I have some clients that, um, need modular home loans and she's gonna look it up for me because she's been in the industry for 21 years. I've been in the industry for six months. Who do you think I wanna team up with? Call realtors, make relationships. She can do loans in 32 states. Yeah, so she says she's doing most of her loans in Idaho and Oregon. You can do loans in Idaho and Oregon too and you can be in California. Cool? The president of my mortgage loan company makes $500,000 a year and he teaches us the systems and the practices to do it. That is not hard physical labor. That is calling people, picking up the phone and moving your lips, following up with people and sending emails and meeting. He brings up people into the office too. Like organized when you have civil engineers going into the mortgage business they are so freaking organized it's like yes if you can be organized if you can call people if you can follow up with people you'll be very successful in this business the second guy who and these guys don't really have big teams when you have the big teams that you can bring on to the mortgage loan um business you make residual income you make passive income and I respect people that make passive income I respect the passive income more than the active income because passive income is where it's at right right okay so follow me on all of these Instagram Facebook um, snapchat TikTok, Twitter I am reading The Little Red Book of Selling by Jeffrey Gittimer at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitter. So if you want to pick up some really good tips on people don't like it when you sell to them, but they like to buy. And this is exactly what we go over in this book on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. Hey, SF Realtor, thank you for joining. How many mortgage loan officers reach out to you? How many reached out to you today to get your business? 
put it in the comments below. One reached out to me and she lives on Atherton Street in Nevada, so she's always gonna remember me. I had a great experience with a mortgage loan officer today. Reach out to realtors. Reach out to realtors. You can make a lot of money if you do it right, if you're organized and if you fall in any business. Uh, mortgage business, even more. So I'm not even I'm gonna get my book out yet. And I don't have my, oh, there's my pen. Anyways, how are you today, SF Realtor? We're on question 209 out of 900. Do you have your mortgage license or are you thinking about getting it? Always great advice and wisdom. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm always putting you on game because when you're hanging out with me, you know, when you're hanging out with Jenny, Jenny's always putting you on some game. I'm always gonna, every day I'm teaching you guys something new. Doing good, you do have it. Okay, how many realtors do you reach out to every week? How many realtors do you connect with and cold call and reach out to every week? How do you, positive energy, Oh, thank you. Thank you, that's a very nice compliment. Positive energy and motivation, totally, totally. Not enough, really. Really, you should be reaching out to 30 realtors a week. I don't even think we've been on the phone. You didn't even talk to me about your mortgage services. How come you haven't even called me? How come you didn't shoot me a DM and try to schedule an appointment with me? I'm a realtor. I could be doing my loans through you. Low battery. Let me see if I can plug in while I'm doing this. My poor phone gets used a lot. We will fix that, totally. Totally, shoot me a DM, schedule an appointment because we need to talk. We need to strengthen our relationship. We need to, look at, don't my blinds look great? Oh, except for that one, you can see the shadow. <laughs> That's so my cat can come in and out. And you can't even see all the promotional material I have behind me. So anyways, yeah, um, a mortgage loan officer reached out to me in Novato and I'm really, really thankful for it. So putting you on game, you should be reaching out to 30 realtors a week anywhere. I mean, if you just have your mortgage, um, certificate or loan your your license in California reach it there are a ton of real estate agents in California that just talk to them all just talk to them all as many as you can and if you can't do it hire an assistant to reach out and schedule your appointments that's the game leverage baby you can hire a virtual assistant for eight dollars an hour I go through virtual pal I don't do all this myself I am not Wonder Woman. I have a team of really wonderful people help me do this. And um, I just don't want to burn out. I don't want to be exhausted. So I've hired my team early and trained them while I'm not busy. So when I am busy, they know what to do. And that way I can still go on vacations and hang out with my family and not just be con completely consumed with work. And we're going to talk about leveraging. I'll throw you guys on some game with that later. Okay, we're already 10 minutes into it. Let's start with some questions because I need to pass this test and so do you. So let me throw you on some more game. When there is a clause in the mortgage that requires the borrower to pay an extra fee if the loan is paid off early, it is known as the prepayment penalty. Any questions you can put them in the comments below. Which of the following is not true concerning SRP? Brokers may receive an SRP. SRP, what is it? Put it in the comments below. 
As it relates to a loan and after foreclosure, the right of redemption is the right of the borrower to redeem the property during the redemption period. Which of the following documents would contain the details about the loan amount, payment, when payments are due, late payment, interest rate, etc.? The promissory note. If a share of sale is held, the document that dictated the foreclosure sale was a deed of trust. Which of the following would not be a red flag of the possibility of loan fraud? A realtor is involved in the transaction. That is not a red flag at all. Right? Which of the following would not be a red flag of possibility of loan fraud? A realtor is involved in the transaction. A balloon loan is best described as a loan that is paid off in one lump sum. A loan paid off in a lump sum after a fixed amount of time is called a balloon loan. How does the secondary market help lenders? They purchase loans and they make more loans available. So they get all these loans and then they sell them to a secondary market and they make loans available on the primary market once again. It's just this cycle. How much is one discount point? 1% of the loan amount. What is the amount of money the VA guarantees called entitlement? What is the best description of an LTV is a percentage of what? The best, the best description of LTV is a percentage of So I want to make sure I'm on the right page. The amount borrowed compared to the sales price or the appraisal value. The main difference between FHA and VA is that VA guarantees the loan, whereas FHA insures the loan. What are FHA loan limits based on? the lesser of the sales price or appraisal value after the down payment and before the upfront mortgage insurance. What are the Fannie Mae Freddie Mac loan limits as of 2017? 424100. What are the current loan limits in 2001? Put them in the comments below. What do you call a loan that exceeds Fannie and Freddie loan limits? Those are jumbo loans. How does an arm adjust? Index plus the margin. What is a discount point? It's a fee. Oh, I'm getting notifications on my phone. A fee to permanently reduce the interest rate on a loan. What is the legal amount that the ARM can increase in one year? There is no legal amount. What is the main difference between FHA and conventional loan programs? FHA insures the lender against losses. What is the primary purpose of the primary market? To originate loans. What makes a mortgage loan a second mortgage? It's the smallest loan. When do you give an arm disclosure? When the rate may change at any time in the life of the loan. Whenever the loan is an arm, federal, federal regulations require which of the following? Disclosure of the index used. Which of the following buys closed mortgage loans? The secondary market. Which is true regarding FHA loans? There is no prepayment penalty. Which of the following are not considered under RESPA change circumstances? Borrower's name spelled incorrectly. Which of the following best describes Freddie Mac? A government-sponsored enterprise that purchases loans from the primary market. Which of the following will not affect a borrower's fixed rate mortgage payments? The 10-year treasury bond. 
Which of the following best describes Fannie Mae? A government-sponsored enterprise that purchases loans. Who sets the margin on an arm? The lender. A lender will not accept a double contract because the loan would be closed and funded based on misrepresentation to the lender. Generally speaking, which loan does not require mortgage insurance? If the combined loan value is 90% and the loan LTV is less than 80%. How does the cost approach determine value on a property? By calculating the total dollar amount to rebuild the home. How is the market value of an of a, how is the market value of an appraisal determined? By analyzing similar sold homes in the same geographical area. If a loan with private mortgage insurance was originated after July 1999, then the mortgage insurance must be dropped when the loan reaches the following percentage of the original sales price or appraisal value. 78%. If appraising a 10-year-old residential home, what is the best approach to determine value, market value? If required, if required, the borrower must retain flood insurance for how long? For the life of the loan. If the borrower's homeowner's insurance lapses, the lender will obtain which of the following? Forced plan insurance. In which order is the borrower's mortgage payment dispersed? Interest, principal, escrow. In which situation would it be most likely that the lender will reject a property if the condition is marked fair by the appraiser? The amount of homeowner's insurance required by the lender is lesser of the loan amount or replacement cost. To transfer an FHA case number, FHA will allow the originating lender to charge how much? Nothing unless it has been underwritten, underwritten by the DE underwriter. What are the payment options on an arm, option arm? Amortize over 30 years, amortize over 15 years, interest only, or negative amortization. What benefit does private mortgage insurance provide to the borrower? We'll have to find out next time. I'll be live again at 9 p.m. and we will find out. Thank you so much for joining my live. I'm always putting you guys on game. Whoa. And I want to show you a product on shopgenstore.com. Are your feet gross and callousy and you just can't get you want nice beautiful feet for the summer you need to get this exfoliating foot mask it's available on shopgenstore.com there are these little socks they're like plastic socks and they have this liquid inside and you put them on your feet and you wrap them up and you keep them on for 30 minutes Oh, we're doing 50 to 90 minutes with these. Okay, you leave them on for 90 minutes. You take them off, you take a shower. The next week, all of your dead skin is gonna fall off your feet. And I know some of you have some crusty feetsies. No more. You ready to wear sandals this summer? You ready to go to the pool? You ready to show off your feet? This is all you need right here the exfoliating foot mask and it makes your feet all pretty and you don't really have to do anything you just put on the sock a week before your pool party or two weeks before because you're gonna be kind of peely put it on and you just let all of that dead skin go there is no reason you have to live in this life with yucky yucky feet and even though my feet there's like a little bit of skin buildup. I feel like guys have a little bit more. You really need to take care of your feet. And it comes in a three pack, just like this. 
and this is actually something I'm going to give to my dad. This is a gift I'm giving to him because I will scrub his feet, I will scrub his calluses, and they just, it doesn't, I'll oil them, I'll do everything. No, 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 no. Now, you just give him a gift, and we're going to do it together, and now his feetsies are going to be super nice because he says that your feet are kind of hard. They're so far away, and especially as you get older, it gets a little harder to take care of your feet. So I definitely recommend my exfoliating foot masks. You don't have to just do it for your face. You should also take really, really good care of your feet, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I love you. God bless you. God bless America, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, yay, yay.